Good morning. It is a beautiful day. Have you ever been numbed? I'll talk about that in just a second. I felt something in the back of my mouth. Over on the lower left-hand side, something in on one of my teeth. Now, I'm one of these people, I was raised by a dad who and my mom, and they saw to it that my teeth were taken care of and I had to brush my teeth, or my dad said that he would do it for me. So I have never had a cavity. I'm 53 years old tomorrow and I have never had a cavity. Well. I have to take that back. I went to the dentist because I felt something strange in my tooth. There was no pain. And then I was eating a bowl of potato soup of all things and a piece of tooth came off. And I'm like, my tooth just broke. What in the world? So I went to the dentist. They examined me and they're like, you have a cavity. Your very first cavity in 53 years. So they drilled it out, gave me a shot. Uh, Gave me a shot, drilled it out, and fixed it. And I'm getting used to this. It feels a little bit sore, but I'm doing pretty good with it. But the weirdness was when they gave me the shot that numbed my gums and my tooth. It felt like one side of my lips, one side of my jaw was completely gone. I went to drink a bottle of water, and when I put it in my mouth, I like had to look down at it because I could not feel half of it. I felt it on this side of my body, but on this side, it was completely numb. I couldn't feel it at all. So I had to be careful. I didn't pour it down the front of my shirt. It was really strange. They said the numbing would last for a couple of hours, but it ended up lasting about four or five hours. And it was sort of bizarre to try to either eat lunch or drink something or, and it just felt weird most of the day. It was very strange. I'd never experienced anything quite like that. It was like being paralyzed on one side. I was incredibly numb. I felt nothing. Now, I'm thankful that I was numb when he was drilling on my tooth and, and uh, doing all the work that he had to do to take care of it. But you know, sometimes life does something to us. Sometimes we get injected with something terrible. Maybe it's the loss of a loved one. Maybe it's a traumatic event at work. Maybe it's just depression. I have friends, and, and I, I get it, that sometimes have the condition called SAD, Seasonal Affective Disorder, where if it's super overcast for a long period of time, which sometimes in the state of Illinois in the winter, it's a very gray sky for long periods, that they get a little bit depressed. Not crippling so, just a little bit. There's things you can do to work on that, but it makes us numb. Have you ever met a numb person? Someone who just doesn't seem to care or feel anything or someone whose attitude is just so horrible that you feel like they've numbed themselves to compassion or to trying to feel for others. You know, that's what Satan does to us folks. He will take our circumstances and he will blow them out of proportion, even if it's a serious circumstance and it will numb us to those around us. Let me give you a little bit of advice. It's something I've learned over time. And it's not easy. And it's easy to sit here when your life is okay and say these things for any of us. But when things go bad for you, if you can reach out and help someone else who is suffering, it helps you too. Don't allow the negative sadness and horror in your own life, which we all face, to keep you from helping others and from living your life. I know when my dad was dying, I sat beside his bed and it was a really difficult time. There was a nurse who gave me this little medallion that uh, had like a religious saying on it and I still have it. One day I'll pass it on to someone else who needs it. But she gave that to me because someone had given it to her as a family member of hers lay dying. And I thought, well, how kind and how wonderful it was of her to do that. Instead of allowing her own grief to numb her to my sadness, she came and gave me a blessing. 
just by her presence and her kind words. It really helped. And I hope to one day to share that with someone else. I hope to pass that forward to someone else and to treat people with kindness when they're suffering and when they're doing the things that uh, life sometimes forces us to do. You know, don't forget, even in the midst of our trouble and our trials, Jesus Christ is Lord. God is in control of all things. We don't understand everything, but we don't have to. We need only understand that he is here to save us and that he loves us and that one day everything's going to be all right. Don't be numb. Be kind to each other. See you next time.